All right, Halos, welcome back, everyone. We are doing patch notes for 14.10 today with Drew Root. How you doing, Drew? Hey, doing good. Um, this is yeah. going to be a fun one. Cause... It's a big one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah. But yeah, got like basically the mid-season update sort of um, rolling around. We got a bunch of different item changes and things. Pretty large. It's kind of like a whole new game again. Yeah. So. Yeah. There you go. That's one of the one of the things they said about doing three splits was it's going to give them more chances to make big changes. So this is the kind of the the first example of that, really. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, we got some some new skins as well. Fairy court. All right. Um. Yeah. So player profile update. We are moving player profiles inside of the social panel in order to consolidate client navigation. We need more space. You can still customize your identity by going into your profile and clicking on the banner there. I'm not 100% sure what that means, but interesting. Um. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah. Uh, Legends of Runeterra is coming to League, which I actually is kind of cool. Not gonna lie. Um. Because I was always wondering why it wasn't like in the client, but now it's going to be in the client as well. So, uh, yeah, that's nice. Pretty nice. We got TFT and Legends of Rune Terror as well. So I'm guessing you can just like boot it up straight from there. I, honestly, I think this will make Legends of Rune Terror more popular just because it's easier to get to from uh, people that may not have played it. So, we'll yeah, see you don't have to download a whole separate, whole separate client. Yeah. yeah, exactly. All right, Champion Mastery update is also happening here as well. So. uh Oh yeah, go ahead. Do you were gonna say something? Uh, no, I'm excited because it's been capped at seven for a while. So yeah, um, and there are there are quite a few people, uh, people I even know uh, quite well that have <laughs> really high mastery on specific champions. So um, it'll be nice <laughs> that you can kind of flex that because like you know you have someone at mastery level seven, they have like twenty thousand, and then someone's at like three million, and they're also seven so yeah, yeah. absolutely it'll be, um, it'll be good there's a dev blog so you can check out that all that information there i kind of skimmed over it a little bit earlier today um and then obviously there's some stuff here but basically you get an uncapped champion mastery levels um getting master projection progression and there's rewards um yeah and it was something along the lines of like uh you can you can have like four challenges each split or something like that and once you get those you get like higher mastery and higher rewards back and stuff so it's pretty cool yeah. Um, but yeah, you can also get champion titles for level 10 mastery. So they're saying like, if you get, if you play Aatrox pass there, you'll get like the dark and blade as one of your titles. So yeah, yeah, yeah. every one tricks, you know, we can get our own little titles. There. It's pretty cool. Yeah. That's exciting. So I like that, but yeah, uh, really cool. Definitely check out that stuff. I'm not sure I like the new thing as opposed to the old one, but I guess it's all yeah. right. I, uh, I like the, I like the, the idea of this yeah. change. Um, I don't, I, I might get used to the artwork. It, it, like I don't Definitely. like it as much right now, but it might grow on me. But but I like the idea for sure. I think it's cool. Yeah, I agree. And they said yeah. that it was based up on like Targon because of like you know climbing the mountain type of uh, thing. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So sure, that's sure, that's sure. kind of what they're going for. But anyways, that makes sense. Uh, that's pretty cool. That's happening this patch as well. Ranked. Um, this is all the stuff for like when the split ends and when the split starts and all that. Uh, you can kind of skip cool. that if you're interested. But uh. You can also look in the client on the ranked tab once you're in your profile, and it'll show you exactly when the, at least the split ends here, um, and then it should show when the the next split's starting. But it's going to be basically tomorrow as of recording this. Either way, uh, system changes. We're modifying golden experience income with the hope of closing some durability disparities across several roles. Um, and so there's a little bit of stuff you can read that if you need to. But basically, what's happening is experience, uh, duo or more, um, two or two or more people being in the same area experience was 116%. Uh, now it is 124%. I'm pretty sure I, that's how I understood it, at least. Does that make mm -hmm. sense to you? Yeah. Okay. And then jungle monster experience is also getting changed a little bit around. It's going to be, uh, what is this? Basically, same level 1 and 2. So it, it was scaling level 1 to 9. Now it's scaling, level, level, scaling from levels 1 to 8. So you're actually going to get, basically, you're going to get more experience earlier. Um, which is kind of scary, actually, but it's all right, because this one was 102.5, and now it's 125%. Uh, and then late is going to be that, and it's also going to be a level earlier for, at the very end. So um, jungle's getting more experience. Scuttle uh, jungle monsters are getting more experience that you can get back from them, at least. Scuttle crab experience is also, let's see. 
it's getting a little bit capped, but um, you're getting more overall is what I would say, definitely. So that's good. Uh, Shared Champion XP, uh, Kill XP is also getting changed, so it was 66% uh, from levels 1 to 6, and then 82%, 7 to 8, and then 100% 9 and more. And now it is 66% from 1 to 6, still the same, 82% um, for 7 plus, and then 90% uh, at 9 plus. So Shared Champion at Kill XP is getting basically nerfed a bit. Um, and then Gold. Um, this is going to be 2 plus kill streak gold is getting changed around a little bit. Uh, so you're getting a little bit less uh, early on from a kill streak. Um, but I think later on you're getting a little bit more. Is that? No, no, no. It's basically getting it's about the so same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. don't snowball quite as hard, quite as bit, looks like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, uh, CS bounty is was 50 gold at 300 extra CS gold plus 50 per additional 200 and now it is going to be 50 gold at 300 extra CS gold plus 50 per additional 250 so um, you need a little bit more basically you're going to get more gold for killing someone with the CS bounty I think is how I understood that right yeah that makes sense to me yeah I think um, I read that earlier and it made sense to me but now that I say it, it sounds weird <laughs> anyways uh, one plus death streak gold. So you're death streaking a bunch. If, if people are just killing you over and over, you're gonna get cost. You're gonna be worth less and less. It was uh, 274 scaling down to 100, and now it's 267 scaling down to 100. Um, and pretty pretty similar overall, but basically earlier on you're gonna be worth a little bit less money. So uh, yeah, uh, pretty much less snowballing I guess overall. But yeah. either way, do you want to start us off or should I? Um, I can do Corky. Yeah, All so right. Corky um, is going to look like... Of stuff. So, yeah, there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> this is kind of like a bit of a rework. Yes. Um, the, the gist of it, though, before you go into it, is they, they're getting rid of the package. Yep, yep. Um, and because they're getting rid of the package, they can like kind of buff up the rest of his kit like kind of put the power back into the rest of his kit so that's kind of like i think what they're going for um so let's see they're upping his base health uh upping yeah upping base health by 30 yep. he gains a little bit less uh, in health growth uh base armor's up slightly by two uh armor growth down slightly base attack down by what is that oh, wow six six yeah. and attack speed is up a bit uh just slightly and then mana regen is up as well um acquisition range range in which quirky attire acquires targets when attack moving past them um is up by 50 so that's kind of a lot to add to it um i don't play quirky so i'm not sure what that interaction exactly would look like but um yeah i'm not sure 100 percent. but okay yeah i guess he, he'll like he'll if you're tr like attack moving he'll pivot to attack a champion when they're further away now maybe maybe um and in retime corky's basic attack to launch attack at more appropriate frame of his attack animation uh nice. basic attacks come out slightly so maybe it'll just feel better to uh farm with this guy so that's kind of all the base stats they're going with um as they said the passive they removed the package um from his packet uh, from his passive Absolutely. and then they're they're editing um, this will be nice. So they're giving him, uh, they're trying to make him more of an AD champion. So 100% physical damage it scales off of, um, which are, these are his, uh, uh, what's, what's it called? Auto attacks, yeah. yeah. And then 15% um, true damage, which is pretty so nice. nice. Yeah. They have true so damage on old, there. I'm pretty sure this is old passive. Maybe a little yeah. bit better, I'm not sure. Yeah, it might be a little bit better even. But yeah, anytime you get true damage like that, uh, that's really nice. So yeah. um, that's pretty good. Um, his Q, which is his bomb attack, um, they are lowering the base damage, but they're upping pretty significantly the scaling. So it's going from 75 to 255 to 70 to 230, but 120 bonus AD instead of 70, and 70 AP instead of 50. So I think overall this is going to be doing a lot more damage late uh, once you get some items. Yeah. Um, cooldown is nerfed for the first two levels. Um, 
but then at max rank it's down a full second so it'll be seven second cooldown at max uh, mana pretty good buff honestly mana was 60 to 100 now it's 60 to 80 Sweet. Um, it looks like it's down at like every level uh, missile speed travels faster and again they just kind of smoothed out the animations um so that feels like a pretty good buff especially later in the game those cues are gonna hurt a lot yeah for sure um with valkyrie we are seeing mana go from flat 80 and now it's gonna go 80 to 100 per rank um so it costs more mana later it will it looks like quality of life changes for the rest so it's gonna consistently deal damage with all the damage ticks um usually this is 10 percent more damage if your target was in the zone uh the whole time uh so upping the damage there uh damage over time lingers one second after leaving the zone can no longer deal da can no longer deal more than maximum damage if target runs alongside the zone um and then oh, nice. particle effects have been scaled to match damage radius so it'd be uh easier to i guess easier for everybody easier for corky to tell like where the damage field is but then easier for opponents to kind of try and avoid it so yeah certainly cool so a lot of quality of life changes there but a little bit of damage buff and then gatling gun uh stripping out the magic scaling so it's just 100 percent physical damage um it is a nerf on the damage um yeah it's just a straight nerf on the damage it's 120 to 320 now it's 100 to 300 and it's down 50% bonus AD, uh, but it's more spammable cooldown, going to 12 seconds instead of 16. Nice. Um, this is probably pretty important. It's getting more armor shred or MR shred. So it used to be 8 to 20, now it's 12 to 24. So I think that feels pretty good. Um, and time to reach max shred. Uh, this is really nice. So you can you can stack up those, like armor or mr shred a lot faster so you only need one second it's like cut in half so nice. that's really big he'll yeah. he'll do a lot more against tanks now and then the mana um is similar to w it's just going up per rank yeah uh, cool. cool 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 and then missile barrage um obviously his alt um let's see same thing they're uh just upping this damage across the board so AD scaling is 70 flat, no AP scaling, um, which is a slight wow. nerf in scaling late, like only at max rank. But I think it's like more than made up for because it's yeah, it's, like it's getting just like a, a flat damage buff. So at max rank, it's it's up 150. Now it's up to 280. So <laughs> that's that's pretty good. Uh, mana it costs a little bit more, but I don't think that's a big deal. It costs 35 mana um the max ammo you can hold is four instead of seven mm. um which i actually think that might be that might be good i wonder i don't know we would need like a quirky expert but i wonder if that means you can get the big rocket like faster you know you know I what i mean i don't think so no i'm pretty sure it's every no. three to regardless it's still every three okay so max ammo is four yeah. uh the recharge rate is 20 so that's a nerf it's going to recharge slower yeah, yeah uh and then base attacks on hit base attacks on hit cha against champions reduce the recharge of missile barrage by two to four seconds based on critical strike that's charts. cool yeah, that yeah. is cool so you can reduce that 20 seconds so um overall uh, leveling ability for the first time grants two ammo. Okay, so I think overall, um, again, I don't play Corky that much, but they're definitely wanting him to be an AD champion. Um, yeah. And I think all of these changes to me make me think he's going to be a lot stronger late game now. Um, and like a lot easier time dealing with tanks uh, is what i'm kind of getting from this but i don't also yeah, play quirky so i could be i could be totally <laughs> off base <laughs> i used to play quirky when he was uh when he originally had this this passive the uh, the physical and true yeah um, yeah yeah and it was a lot more fun but uh for me at least <laughs> yeah um i didn't really like it when they changed it to the to have this and the package yeah. was just kind of weird but it was yeah uh, it was I like guess. awkward yeah, yeah. and uh <laughs> yeah 
Uh, but overall, I think the changes are super good. Um, I'd go into more of them if we had more time, but um, they are. I really like pretty much everything here, basically. Um, and yeah, it all I, seems good. It all seems good. Yeah, and I don't know if this is uh, just me or not, but if you've played with Quirky at all, the uh, Q, W, and E like little icons actually yeah. look updated to me. I don't. I don't yeah, really I don't. Know. Except the R. The R looks similar, but I'm the sure other ones are the same. Yeah, updated. maybe not. <laughs> Either way. Really good, yeah. really good stuff for Quirky. I like that. I might actually be playing him a little bit, so we'll see. Yeah, I think he's definitely worth trying out. He's he's gonna feel super different. True damage. Anytime you get true damage like that in any part of your kit is yeah. is pretty OP. So that's like that's for really sure. nice. Absolutely. Um, and then so next up we got Choke Ass of Vorpal, sp- sp- the Vorpal spikes on his E. Damage cap against monsters was uh, 80 to 160 based on rank of the skill, and now it's just a flat 200. So it's just a lot higher uh, everywhere basically. And then uh, damage cap against minions uh, was 80 to 160 again, and now it is completely removed. So you're actually not going to get capped out on that um, damage to minions anymore, which is nice. Um, and in the little text here it says. Basically, uh, Cho clearing minions is, is better. So super minions, oh, sorry. Good, 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 good. So uh, yeah, um, but basically cool. they're they're hoping he can be in the jungle a little bit better. Uh, that's the main thing they're going for here. So Makes yeah, sense. definitely helps him as well. I like it. Uh, these have got to be the smallest Cassante changes I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, for real. Uh, there's no my wall attacks, but let's see. So Cassante is getting more health. Her level health regen, sorry, okay. is uh, up to one from 0.85. No, and right. then his health grew. Oh, yeah, look, there we go. And then uh, <laughs> health per level, it's also up by five. So it's 120 now. Uh, his E footwork is going to be buffed. Um, not rank one, but every rank afterwards. It's up by, it's up by quite a bit. It's up 10, 20. 30 40 so it, it goes from 50 to 210 now it's 50 to 250 um so yeah just a bit buff on a shield and buff on a little bit buff on his uh health pool yeah but, kind of surprising i thought he would uh be nerfed he, if anything but he's guess... kind of op in msi i'm just saying yeah so. i was wondering about that <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> but yeah anyways some buffs for that. i guess they're not super large but definitely helps yeah out. Uh, all right, and then set we got his E face breaker and now has a 100 flat damage mod to monsters So I guess they want him to be viable in jungle. So there you jungle. go Few and far oh. between players <laughs> All right Skarner. Okay, so Skarner recently reworked. So they're probably trying to uh, Maybe continue to figure out what to do with this guy <laughs> um, So his Q which is shattered earth or upheaval um, depending on how you're casting it um i think upheaval isn't that when he throws the rock yes yep and then shatter yeah yeah is one he so uh they are they are nerfing slightly bonus hp uh Mm -hmm. on the damage so down one percent um mana is actually kind of a buff so it's going to be 30 flat at every rank uh damage to structures is up to 100 percent damage instead of 50 uh so that's that's pretty good for knocking down towers and then a uh, percent monster per- percent max hp monster cap um <laughs> which is a weird thing to say yeah but i think uh i think it's percent max hp monster cap. so basically it's just the, the less cap. damage to monsters yes yes yeah it's okay. capped at lower by 100 yeah at least later. okay by 100 yeah it, like, it was 150 to 450 now it's 150 to 350 so there you go um <laughs> E, Ixtal's Impact, um, is also just a nerf to the damage. In this case, uh, it's going down 2% of Skarner's max HP. Um, instead of 10%, it's 8%. Um, and then Impale uh, is down a little bit, so it's 0.65 cast time instead of 0.75. Uh, okay, okay. Skarner is no longer unstoppable while winding up Impale. Uh, that that feels like a nerf. That's that feels like a nerf for yeah. sure. And then Skarner can now Q his other skills while winding up Impale. Uh, Huey can yeah. still not be cast. And then fixed a bug where Mark Dash could be recast during Impale. Um, I think overall, nerfs. For the most part. Yeah. Uh, and I actually, I actually think the biggest one is probably that wind up 
unstoppable thing going away. Because I, I, I saw a game yesterday where um, I was watching a Lee Sin, and he tried to like kick him away while he was winding up, and he couldn't. Um, uh, yeah. So now stuff like that would would probably interrupt the the cast. I think. So, I wonder if this means like you can stun him, and then the ability goes on like a quarter of the cooldown, or yeah. like, or what happens? Like, does it still cast even though you get stunned or something? What happens there? I wonder. That I'm not sure because like yeah. with a Lee Sin kick, if he kicks you back, you'd figure. <laughs> Like he can't still cast it because he's gonna be out of range, but I think so because he's airborne, right? So yeah, he'd be know. airborne. Yeah, yeah. We'll have to champions. we'll have to play it in game, but I feel yeah. like that could be a pretty big nerf because that's kind of his uh, main yeah. ability. I'd yeah. say so for sure. Yeah. Also, um, just a quick aside for people that are like lore people or whatever. I wonder is it is it Ixtol or is it Ishtol? I always Ooh. thought it was Ishtol, but I don't really know. <laughs> I yeah. think it might be Ishtal. Is it? Okay. Okay. I wasn't sure. I can't like, remember. Okay. The only character who I ever hear, like, I don't remember. Is I think like Milio. Oh, the... uh, okay. Milio might have a voice line about it. I thought you were going to say, like, Nico or um, Lily no. or something like that. No. It's either Kiana or Milio, but I think someone has a oh, voice yeah, it line. Might be Kiana. It might be Kiana. But I think I think you're right. I think it's Ishtal is, is okay. sounds more correct. Yeah, like, hearing you say it. Okay. Yeah. All right, someone so, can tell us. Someone, some, someone who knows. Hundred percent. <laughs> all right. So uh, one of the things that's happening during this patch is uh, all crit items are going from twenty percent crit to twenty five percent crit, which means you can get uh, hundred percent crit at four items instead of uh, having every mm-hmm. item, or five, all five items, full build before you can get hundred percent. So, in order to uh, make up for that, uh, passive battle fury for Trindamir, the fury bonus critical strike chance was 0 to 40 percent based on fury now it's 0 to 50 percent based on fury so he's getting an extra little buff here to make up for that a little bit um so an extra 10 percent crit um so he only needs two items to get full crit once he's at full max fury so there nice. you go not bad a uh, little viego change too uh q is giving him uh, 50% healing versus minions instead of 10%. Yeah. Uh, so I guess Lane Viego could uh, be a thing. Yeah, absolutely. I wonder if we'll see it. I'm not so sure, but hey, it might yeah, be. Maybe. It might. It might. <laughs> uh, but yeah, for all those Lane Viego players, you'll get a nice little buff there. A lot more healing. Yep. Uh, passive Wave the Water on Yasuo. Uh, critical Strike Chance Multiplier. Obviously, it's getting changed because of the Critical Strike a chance for the items so it's going to be from what 2.5 it is now two so the multiplier um which obviously this will just mean they get 100 percent crit at two items yasuo and yone but um bonus ad for excess critical strike chance is now 50 percent instead of 40 percent as well not bad not yeah. bad at all and the brother um let's see yone what are they doing to yone uh same more thing. crit stuff yep. yeah more crit stuff it's just, it's literally the same crit stuff <laughs> I was like, this one's super familiar um it makes sense yoni also they both are like and and, and trindamir to be honest they're probably the most heavily yeah. impacted by crit changes so it makes sense they would do the same thing there so also i don't know about you but in my opinion i think uh they shouldn't spike quite as early as two items i think they should make it three items and make some like quick mass there um so it's like three items gives you 100 percent crit so they yeah. could just change the multiplier again just like they did but i don't know that's just me uh yeah either way corrupting potion is going to be removed from the game uh, so uh, they said it's been forgotten for a while, a little bit, and uh, we don't like when it's strong and dominates other early game choices, so we're just removing it from the game for now. Okay. So, there you go. I like the change. What about you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's fine. I don't really buy it that much, so. <laughs> yeah, me neither. Uh, ooh, okay, Dawn Core updates. Uh, what Are these Enchanter updates? Yes. Is that what I saw? Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Uh, so let's see. I might know something about these because I build... I play a lot of enchanters. Uh, so yeah, Doncor. Doncor. I've normally never built this, um, but it was supposed to be uh, like your final like wrap-up right? item yeah. for your build, uh, kind of like a kind of like a Ravidons for like mages. But okay, I just yeah. never ever build it. So um, they are giving more heal and shield, or they're just giving heal and shield power, sixteen percent um, into the kit. They are. <laughs> Upping the ability power you get, yeah, forty to sixty. Uh, mana regen is down, but by the time you build this last, you don't 
mana regen isn't a big deal. True. Um, and then it is 2% um, heal shield power and 10 AP per 100 base mana regen, um, which is slightly down on the heal and shield, but they, they just put like base heal and shield into it. So hmm. that's fine. And then it's up scaling uh, with, it gives you more AP. So somewhere haste removed, ability haste removed. That's fine. That's fine. Cause you get that from so many other items at this point. Yeah, so that's fine. Um, it, overall, I think, right? I think, I think it's pretty good. It, it, it basically gives you more of what you want. By the time you were building it, you don't need more ability haste or mana regen, but you'll definitely like the heal shield power and the ability power like that. Yeah. That'll feel really good. So, um, yeah, no, I like it. I think it's a good, Sweet. good change. Got some little masks here as well. So there you go. Yeah. All right. The problem is the only problem is the games end so yeah, quickly and, and supports so get so little gold that exactly. Like, it's very rare that I even get to the point where I can buy full items. So, yeah. but if I do get there, I will probably consider buying that now. So, yeah, that's true. But it looks like maybe they're they're saying you could buy it like sec third or something. Maybe I'd have I'm not to. sure. Yeah, if but... you buy it something after mandate or shirley's, which should okay. Yeah, I'll have to try. I'll have to try around. Uh, maybe build it earlier and see maybe. see how it goes. All right. Um. Actually, honestly, do you want to just knock out all the support stuff? That's, that's yeah, I can do the support ones. That makes sense. Uh, Echoes of Helia. Um, ever since they like did uh, a second pass at some of these items, it like got rid of the mythic items. Mm-hmm. I feel like people don't really build Echoes as much. Yeah. Um, so they are dropping the stacks from three to two. Um, the damage per stack is up forty-five to sixty. Heal per stack is up forty to seventy-five. Mm-hmm. Um, and fix the bug where it would damage enemies and still pop their shield. Um, I think people will probably still not build this, but maybe <laughs> they will. Uh, the problem is it's like it's like trying to be both a damage item and a heal item. Mm-hmm. Um, and what normally people are going Moonstone for healing, or right. they're going like something else for damage. So it, it ends up being in this awkward like middle ground. Um, but maybe yeah it might it might it might help a bit but yeah i think probably they need to do something different with it all right interesting and then shirelia's um is a bit on the side yeah it is it is pretty strong i guess uh <laughs> movement speed down three percent so it's five percent movement speed and then ability power just down five so um that's probably fine people who are still building it for that that uh, active on it they're still yeah, gonna build it so still gonna it's, build it for sure yeah, it's fine i saw a but, but, twisted fate build a mid by the way one time oh ago. God. that's weird <laughs> well maybe it'll cut down on that a bit then <laughs> <laughs> oh god all right tanks uh let's tag team this one for sure yeah. Yeah, small yeah. pass over tank items but with high income and low income varieties uh, all right, they're giving ability haste to the tank system. So, all right, Anathema's change is getting removed from the game. Is a little thing where they explain, and obviously Freak will let you know if you want to watch that. But um, yeah, gonna be gone from the game. Not that many people purchase it, but it was pretty pretty strong, I think. Yeah, relatively. yeah, it was. Either way, um, uh, cool. Yeah, Warmog's armor. Uh, that oh, health it's giving you is up to a thousand. Um, yeah, it's boy. A nice little buff. And then health per second is down, so it'll uh, it'll heal you less with the ticks, um, hundred percent instead of two hundred percent. But yeah, you get a ton of extra health. I feel like that's that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I think overall better, but um, yeah, I do too. I don't know. It kind of I can't I can't think of how that works in game exactly. Half as much healing. But you do have to be out of combat, so I mean, it doesn't really matter either. Yeah, way. I feel like most of the time when you're out of combat, you're like out of combat for a bit. Way too long, So it, yeah. it's not really going to matter. Exactly. Um, but the extra health is going to be like really nice. Yeah. And they said they haven't changed the Wormog's heart uh, threshold, so it should be easy to activate in your second slot as well. Nice, so I think it nice, might nice. have been a third item slot because they upped that a little while ago. But yeah, yeah there you go. Uh, Fimble Winter. 400 health to uh now 550 instead so 150 extra health there just nice. kind of for free and the uh passive was eight percent max mana as bonus hp now it's 15 percent bonus wow. mana as as bonus hp so it is bonus instead of max so I'm not exactly sure exactly how much but it says 
um, it'll be relatively neutral in most takes unless they invest further into mana. So, um, yeah, I don't know. But it okay. seems nice overall. I mean, even if nothing else, you get extra health straight up on yep. the item. And then, uh, well, you might as well do this. This is going to be the same. Because it's right. just the winner's approach is what builds out yeah, of... Uh... Literally the exact yeah. same. Yep. It's unchanged. It has... They changed the build path a little bit. The health is up 150 once again. And then same exact thing for ah, passive. Uh, bombies, they are tweaking a little bit. It's 100 gold cheaper. Uh, gives you 100 less health, but does give you 5 ability haste. Um, all right. Well, yeah, kind of interesting. Fine, I guess. Yeah. I, I think this is probably good because 300 health was a lot for uh for an yeah. item that cheap, but I don't know. Yeah, I can't. I in the brain, in my brain, the math is not. I don't know. Yeah, and it's then since good. it builds in, all these are probably going to be similar. Yeah, it's just yeah. hollow radiance and sunfire. It's getting uh less health, um, and more ability haste. It's kind of like in line with the bombies. Yep. Like Absolutely. nerfed on health, but up on ability haste. So I I don't know. I feel like. I'd have to play on this C if I noticed. Yeah, big I think probably overall decent size nerfs, but um, yeah, not too bad really. Yeah, yeah, not not they're not gonna break them, but it is. No. Yeah. All right, uh, Randuin's Omen. So health is going from four hundred to three hundred fifty, so losing fifty health. Armor is going up by twenty, so it was fifty five, now it's seventy five, and the humility cooldown, which is the active where you slow the enemies, um, was sixty seconds, so one minute. Now it's a minute and a half, ninety seconds. And then the Humility Slow uh, was 55%, now it's 70%, so just uh, better active, basically, and more armor, but slightly less health. And they did remove the Rock Solid um, passive, which is basically the same thing that um, Frozen Heart has, and that's pretty much why they did it, because if you wanted to buy both items, you're kind of, in quote-unquote, wasting gold, because you had yep. the, the two same items, but um, yep. that's the one where if you get auto-attacked, um, it reduces the auto attack damage yeah. based on like your bonus health um, and stuff like that, or max health or something like that. So uh, definitely a little bit of a nerf there, but I mean overall it's not going to matter because you're probably going to be buying both items most cases. Yeah, um, especially with the crit changes, these will be yeah, important this, this to build. Yeah, this be really good. So there yeah, go. unending despair, anguish trigger rate. Now five seconds. <laughs> Instead of seven seconds. With Ingenious Hunter going away with the dinosaur. Um, Unending Despair was only strong when built on inside that rune, so we're buffing with lower cooldown. Yeah, so I guess it's just uh, I don't know if you saw to the, compensate for the rune. Yeah. The Volibear thing where he was just infinite healing with his W yep. and Unending Despair and <laughs> Genius Hunter. It's crazy. All right, uh, Abyssal Mask. So price is going down by 100 gold, so it's now 2300, pretty cheap. Nice. And then yeah, and then magic resist um, going down by ten as well. So it was sixty, now it's fifty. Unmake uh, was minus eight point six to twenty five magic resist based on bonus HP, which is uh, the people around you that does to that too. And now it's just a flat twenty percent magic resist. So instead of the flat straight up flat damage, it's just the percentage actually. Um, and then unmake radius was 550. Now it's 600, so a little bit, a little bit farther you get on that. And then unmake magic resist was nine per enemy. Now it's 10 per enemy. And then it's also now unique with void staff and crit balloon. So you can't buy once you buy one of these items, these three, you can't buy the other two. Yeah. So it's good. Go. I like them making it cheaper. It's good. I guess it yeah. supports sometimes have gold issues, so it's nice. Uh, yeah, that's a really nice. To be able to get this for cheap. Sweet spot, I think, sort of. Yep. Uh, another support item, Knight's Vow, um, <laughs> mostly support item. Yeah. Um, it is just getting, uh, let's see, 100% base health regen added into its uh, stat lines. Sick. The armor's down by 5, and damage redirection, 10, then 20, below 30. Uh, that's probably, I don't know, I need Freak, but instead of like it scales 10 percent normal and then 20 percent when they're low health um this is gonna be 12 percent all the time i think it's probably better or at least more like reliable but i'm not i need the freak I mean, math to know as for long sure. as they're above 30 percent health uh it's better it's better slightly so. yeah 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 <laughs> but yeah um and then... and then uh damage reduced by knights armor and mr okay yep. there you go all right that's 
That's cool. Good. I think probably good, right? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think this is pretty nice, but I don't know. Not, I don't really buy the item. I, know I also, I also good. think I didn't realize it didn't work that way. But if that last bullet point, um, I thought it always worked that way, but maybe it didn't. So, if I'm reading that right, damage is now reduced by the knight's armor and MR. Mm -hmm. Um, I didn't realize it didn't work that way. So that's actually pretty nice because that means if you're a tankier support, your armor MR is going to reduce that damage redirect that you're taking. Yeah. Okay. Which which I thought it did the whole time. So actually, that that's pretty nice now because you'll like you'll be taking a lot less of the damage that's coming to you. That's, yeah, that's, that's kind of interesting. Nice. I didn't know that either. Yeah, yeah seems better. All right. Um, and then it says they're they're adding the health generator, and so if you can't if your worthy ally can't hit for a while, you can still recoup some health. Yep. So. Cool. Yeah. 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 All right. Uh, you can go for this one too. So. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Zeke's. Um, what do we got with Zeke's? So another kind of support item on the tankier side. Uh, health is up by a hundred. So nice. kind of health, armor down by five to twenty-five. Uh, nicely, it gives MR now, so that's good. Gives you twenty-five MR. Uh, ability haste is instead of twenty, it gives you ten, and then the mana is removed. Um, this is. I think this is good overall because there's. Yeah. I think you normally buy Zeke's for the the like special active that yeah. pops off when you use your alt. Hundred percent. Um, but it always it always felt bad to build it when you didn't really need armor, <laughs> yeah. but you want it like that active kind of ability. So now that it's got both, I think it, it feels better. Yeah, I like items with both, honestly. Yeah. More or less, yeah. as long as it's not crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's cool. Um. All right. Mage items. So we can tag team this. I think Banshee's yeah. veil. Uh, only thing is build path is changing a little bit and then total gold costs unchanged so we're good there this is I the almost thought uh, Deathfire Grasp when I saw the <laughs> yeah. I was like oh my god it's back <laughs> uh, False Alarm yes. there Blackfire Blackfire Torch um, so this is a new item uh, builds out a lost chapter mm. um, and something else I'm sure we'll learn about <laughs> in a minute uh, but lost cha it's a lost chapter item uh, it costs 2800 gold um 90 ability power uh it gives you 600 mana 25 uh haste Ooh. and then let's see it's little stat lines here it's kind of ability so baleful blaze dealing damage with abilities cause enemies to burn for 20 plus two percent ap magic damage per three seconds deals 20 bonus damage per second to monsters so good for ap junglers for sure hmm. Um, and then Blackfire, uh, each enemy champion, epic monster, or large monster affected by your blaze gain 4% AP. Um, so immediately thinking like brand, like brand jungle. Um, yeah, it's definitely like that. That's like a brand item for sure. sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm like trying to in my head think how it stacks up to like Leandri's, um, which also does kind of burn damage. But I think for junglers, because it has those modifiers, like this is this feels like really good for fiddlesticks for brand uh oh, yeah, any like sure. any like ap jungler who can do hit multiple targets um at the same time uh this would be really really good for 100 percent. i think this is basically like a little bit different numbers but this is basically um the same thing that old landers did before this new yeah. one Except yeah. instead of uh, max HP, it's uh, two percent of AP as yeah. damage. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's the only slight difference. I think. Yeah, I have I have a feeling this like Leandries will still be better if you're hitting like tanky targets. Yeah. Um, or like health stacking targets, but this will be, yeah, this will be really nice for junglers, AP junglers for sure. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Fated ashes. Uh, I think this hey, is a heard component item. Was <laughs> we that? heard about that above. Oh, uh, this yeah. is the item. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like the icon. Too. It's cool. Yeah, that is cool. Uh, build pass is amplifying tone plus 500 gold, so 900 gold, to gold total cost. Uh, and then ability power is 40, and then you get inflame. Dealing damage with abilities causes enemy to burn for 7 magic damage per second for 3 seconds, and then it deals the 20 bonus damage per seconds to monsters as well. So it's just kind of a mini version, sort of. Yeah, nice. A little bit. All right. Ludens, um is no longer on a charge model system. Um, okay, so it's got 12 second cooldown and always fires with six shots. Um, 
Let's see. Yeah, I couldn't understand that one, to be honest. 12 second cooldown, but always fires were six shots. I don't know what that one means. Oh, 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 okay. So if it's on cooldown still and you have six yeah. shots, it'll still fire. So normally uh, it doesn't fire with it if it's on cooldown. That makes okay. sense. Okay. That, yeah, earlier uh, today I read that and I couldn't understand it. So. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, the base damage is up from 45 to 60. And the repeat damage ratio on the primary target is also up from 35 to 50%. Um, yeah. Cool. Yeah, so this does. Just, uh, yeah. Is so it this, good? Yeah, I think it's a buff. This does look like buffs, but before you had the uh, six shots, um, I don't know if you still have charges at all because it says no longer charge model. Yeah. Um, so I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure it's saying that it's just a 12 second cooldown ability now. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty long because I'm pretty sure before each charge was like four or six seconds each time you yeah. got a new charge. So it's a nerf in terms of how often you can get it shoot it off but um yeah the damage is up of course so i don't know and that's kind yeah, of interesting yeah, yeah. on primary target as well i even yeah. I didn't even know that to be honest <laughs> uh actually no no i guess it does make sense either way uh all right leandry's torment uh gold cost unchanged they're just changing the build path a little bit they're getting faded ashes in there so yeah, makes sense yeah. yeah a little bit of a burn there as well uh, uh... Oh, Verdant Barrier? Verdant Barrier. Big. Is uh one hundred gold cheaper. Big. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that feels that feels fine. That feels fine. Yeah, and this gives you an actual spell shield too, though. Yeah. Of, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Guess, so. yeah, so uh Broken if you're any That's pretty nice. To get that early is is very nice. Yeah. Uh I know when I was watching LS when they first changed this item to give you a spell shield, uh he was like you just don't have to finish Banshee's Veil ever, because it's yeah. You just buy that. So you just buy yeah. this. So you just get Banshee's Veil at sixteen hundred gold. Let's go. Yep. <laughs> just like obviously it's sixteen seconds or whatever of a short, longer cooldown, but it's fine. Yeah, Either that way. feels pretty good. Uh, fighter items. Overlord's Blood Mail is getting added, so we got some some big ones here. So it's gonna be tunneler plus tunneler plus a thousand gold. <laughs> Double tunneler. <laughs> Double tunneler. <laughs> and then total gold cost is gonna be thirty three hundred. Um, okay. Attack damage is 40, health is 500, and then Tyranny, gain 2% of your bonus health as attack damage. So that's pretty awesome. That uh, is pretty good. Retribution, gain up to 10% increased attack damage based on your percent missing health. Maximum retribution bonus while below 30% health. So once you're at 30% health, you already have your max amount from here, um, which is 10%. Um, I oh, saw nice. like a Trindomir, I think, build this. Uh, yeah. in like a little clip, like a patch note or something, a little clip or whatever, and he had like 780 or something. It was crazy. Oh <laughs> my god! Yeah. Jesus. Okay. But yeah, obviously you can get like war mugs, hard steel. It's gonna be pretty nutty. So. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For sure. Tanks that are 80 or whatever. Blade. Fighter. Oh, yeah, heavy, heavy, heavy fighter builds. Yeah. Uh, Blade of the Rune King. Um, is getting. 15 attack damage. Let's go. 5% extra attack speed. 2% extra life steal. So just buffs across the board. Um, passive is. Alright, this is a slight nerf. Uh, it's down three. Big nerf. Um, <laughs> passive. Um, Alright, the buffs have stopped. And then uh, passive clung shadows. Uh, every third basic attack on hit against champions is empowered and slows them by 30. Um, 15 second cooldown instead of your next basic attack yep every third basic attack this is also for ranged it's not halved either as well mm. but yeah basically True. some champions didn't have good synergy with this like my yeah. my championship for instance zen has a slow on his e so if you're you're jumping in and then you hit him it's just slow slow yeah but uh if it's the third then uh you know i have that extra time on that slow i don't know if that's yeah, exactly yeah. how it worked with sin because i didn't really buy this item much but yeah <laughs> okay all right and then another monster damage cap uh it's up to 100 so that'll be good yeah um good. i think is it good is it bad i don't know i like it more but this is pretty large we'll see if they change yeah that i was i was like pretty hyped until that passive nerf and then i'm like i don't yeah. know anymore but yeah 
they want it more centered around the stats than the on hit damage so okay. All right. i guess makes sense all right black cleaver just simple changes here they're getting the armor reduction from five to six percent and then the max armor is uh obviously 30 percent instead of 25 so yeah there you go they, could, they got some explanation there if you want to read <laughs> boots it's boots, boots time uh boots play... changes. It's been okay years. let's see <laughs> plated steel caps 100 gold cheaper yeah. more armor and base attack reduction down um i think nerf i think nerf too but because that base attack nice reduction is was pretty yeah. nice so but it is cheaper so it's okay i guess yeah yeah okay. there you go all right boots yep. of mobility removed from the game no more boots uh, of mobility. RIP. RIP. but they kind of are come back here uh should oh, I read back. This or you want to get this? <laughs> yeah uh yeah yeah you do you do all you right do. so yeah. basically, look scary yeah, basically this is boots of mobility. Um, okay. So 900 gold, move speed is 35, so uh -huh. 10 more than like your base boots. Uh, yeah. Your recall is empowered, so you get, I think that, that means a three second recall basically. Um, all just all the time. Yeah, it's permanently. Uh, and then after uh, traveling 15 or 150,000 units, upgrades to synchronized souls, which is this. And this one gives 45 move speed, so more of a normal boot. And then your recall is still empowered for the rest of your game, and you gain 45 move speed when out of combat. So not 110, uh, I think, was what what move ability was, but yeah. Uh, you get, what, 90? So, the yeah. recall seems really good. Seems pretty good, yeah. I'm not sure, though. It's obviously situational, but hey. Uh, yeah. They're a tempo-oriented purchase. Yeah. I guess. Roaming and move speed. But yeah, kind of interesting. What do you think about these? I think it's i think it i'm trying to think if like when it would be useful i feel like these would be nice yeah for roaming supports like obviously if you're barred or something mm -hmm. um someone who moves around a lot but i'm i'm like i wonder if it would make a big difference on like when you're a support and you're roaming up to hit like uh like help with uh grubs or herald and then that empowered recall might be pretty pretty op like pretty to get nice. back to your lane faster if you are hitting herald though you are going to get empowered recall straight up so i don't know that's yes. true too yeah but for the grubs i guess it would be nice but for herald yeah. if you take it that's yeah true. yeah you do get it anyway so that's a good point um yeah i don't know i don't know just a little bit faster out of that. combat on the map but uh yeah oh, cool I, don't idea. I don't think people are going to pick this up too much but hey we might i might be wrong yeah um it's definitely interesting uh situational for sure uh but yeah anyways marksman items marksman all righty let's see <laughs> uh, i've been hearing a lot of rumbling about marksman items so let's, let's do it. get into it uh bloodthirster um <laughs> you never know what they want to do with this item <laughs> uh so with bloodthirster gold is the same uh attack damage is up a lot it's up to 80 instead of 55 yeah. Uh, it no longer grants extra AD no uh, when you're at high health, which, okay, that's <laughs> fine. And then the Icker Shield converts excess healing uh, from Life Seal into Shield. Let's go. But there's so the shield back. Is back. <laughs> yep. And there's no crit chance. So this is your bunch of AD and survive burst item yet again. Yep. Alrighty. It's back. So no crit, but. It's the old it's version, good. kind of. I think it's good because because it, it's like you buy it to survive. So yeah, for sure. Yeah, I think it's, and I think it's good. Plus, if you're getting it as like your fifth item, for instance, or whatever, yep. um, you're still gonna have a hundred percent crit because it's twenty five yep. percent. So hey, exactly. So you don't really care about the crit, and you were normally buying this late anyway as yeah. like a survive. Like instead of a GA, you're like ah, I'll go with Bloodthirster because it, it'll help me not yep. die and pop a GA. So um, sure. I think it fulfills that again. Although so I think good... you probably could get this earlier on. Um, probably with the extra out. AD, it, it probably would feel fine. Yeah. yeah. But it depends, I guess. But the shield's pretty nice. Um, yep. Either way. Cool. Uh, yeah, collector. So total gold cost is going up by 100. So it's now 3,200. Yeah. The build path is changing for like almost every item. So just check that out if you're interested. Um, and this one's getting, uh, obviously, critical strike chance going up to 25, just like all the crit 
items. Lethality is going down by one, but uh, attack damage is going up by five as well. So it's a bit of a nerf-ish, but uh, straight up all the um, stuff is getting buffed except one lethality, which I don't think matters that much. Yeah. It's pretty good. Good item still. <laughs> so fine, yeah. Essence Reaver. Um, let's see. Okay, so big changes right off the bat. Uh, more expensive, 3,200 gold mm -hmm. instead of 2,900. Kind of crazy. Uh, it no longer builds out a spell blade. Yep. Um, so that's that's pretty big. Uh, it's going to definitely change who buys this. Um, base attacks refund 15 plus 10% bonus AD mana on hit. So it gets you mana back. Uh, they up to crit chance. That's across the board with a lot of stuff. Uh, they upped ability haste and they upped attack damage. So, um, well, I don't know. It's not a spellblade item, so yeah. So it opens up, opens it up to more people. But the more uh, people can use it, like the non like ability base, yeah, exactly. Like, marksman can can feel better about building it, but will they build it? That's the question. Not sure. Yeah, that's the, that's the question for sure. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, I think it, overall it's a eh, it's a good item. Yeah. But it does cost a lot. I don't know. I'm like I'm trying to figure is it worse now for like ability based people like Ezreal and Lucian like yeah. Ezreal and Lucian like is it gonna be worse for them and like or is it like still just fine for them because it gives the mana refund? I think it's and... fine. They'll actually get more mana. Yeah. Out of it, but um. Obviously, they won't get that empowered damage, especially Ezreal, I think. Yeah, I think Ezreal will not like this, but I could be wrong. I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> it's interesting, for sure. Yeah. All right. I get what they're going for. I guess I'll put it that. I, I understand them trying to make it like more yeah. viable for more people, so I at least yeah, I get that. Pretty much, yeah. So you're just going to have tons of mana, for sure. Because yep. most ADCs build at least a little bit of attack speed. So, yeah. All right. Uh, and I'm pretty sure that means it procs off of um, minions as well. So you just yeah. chill. Uh, Immortal Shield Bow. So build path is getting changed, obviously. Uh, this is getting a Vampire Scepter instead of, what, Noon Quiver, I guess? And a Cloak of Agility. Either way, total gold cost is unchanged, of course. And going critical strike going up from 20 to 25 25% naturally. Attack damage going up by 5 as well, so 55. And then... Lifesteal is getting removed. Oh, I'm sorry. I did, did that backwards. It's getting a new quiver instead of Vapor mm, Acceptor. Yeah, yeah. yeah, my bad, my bad. Still a crit chance item, but basically the only thing you're buying this for is that lifeline shield. Um, yep. In my opinion, Which, I'm yeah. never buying this item again anymore. I was only using it yeah. for lifesteal. On top of yeah. the shield. So. I feel like now you buy uh, Bloodthirster. Yeah. It's pretty bad. Yeah, in my I think opinion, this one's but... this one's no no good. It's gone. <laughs> uh, I.e. Infinity Edge. Um, you know they had to change this with any kind of crit mm -hmm. over overhaul. So it's up to thirty four hundred gold, more expensive crit chance up to twenty five percent, like everything else. And then attack damage is nice big uh, buff from sixty five. Now it's eighty attack damage. So um, yep. I think you'll be happy to pay the extra 100 gold for those stat buffs yeah i agree yeah. for sure and then kirch's shard is unfortunately removed from the game get it uh, out of here i didn't like that one but um basically you'll see kind of why lower down yeah. but plus it was it was pretty strong um but yeah Ooh. the the kraken slayer what are they doing to kraken slayer here it's more expensive boy. um by 100 gold so 3100 gold no crit chance so interesting so it's not a crit item anymore yep um which is interesting it's giving move speed which it never gave before 70 percent move speed uh 50 attack damage instead of 40 40 percent attack speed instead of 35 and i think the bring it down is how has it changed every third basic attack deals additional physical damage increasing when hitting lower health targets interesting okay um so instead of increasing when hitting the same target it increases when hitting low health targets so 
I think, I guess I'll go in reverse order. The bring it down change will make it, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think better against hitting just everyone, like on the whole, because it's not like, like I feel like the original passes were good to hit like tanky items that you hit a million times. But yeah. I'm not, I'm not loving that they got the crit chance out of there. That's the only <laughs> thing that I'm stuck on. Actually, um, I hate this more because this was. I think it's your, worse though. Yeah, your damage a lot. Just even though it was only you had to hit like the one same target, obviously, but yeah, it was good against bruisers, good against tanks, good just in, honestly against everyone, but um, especially those. Uh, but yeah, this is. This is getting hit pretty hard, in my opinion. Um, obviously, it'll yeah. help you finish off targets a little bit more, maybe. Um, I'm not sure if this means, like, total health or just, like, lower HP currently in the game. Like, if they're, if they're like, 30% HP. Um, but, yeah. Um, kind of weird. In my opinion, it's a little worse. But overall, it's, like, still fine. Still does relatively what it does. But, yeah, the crit, ch crit chance hurts a lot, for sure. Yeah. Um, and it is 100 gold more as well. But Yeah, the move speed's kind of interesting. I gotta help you kite a bit better. But yeah. I don't it's know. interesting, for sure. This will be one I, like, it's hard to... I, I'll have to, like, feel it out in-game. But I think, I think I agree. I think it's a bit worse. I for think. sure. Yeah. So, okay. Interesting. And then Orn Upgrade is getting an extra 10% as well of attack Ooh. speed. All right, and then Lord Dominic's regards. So armor penetration going from 35% to 40%, so you get an extra 5%. And critical chance is going up to 25, of course. And then attack damage going up by 5. But, and this is a big but, it no longer deals increased damage based on oh. target's max health. Okay. So, uh, I might not build this ever again. Yeah, it's it's losing the giant slayer passive. Um, the armor really armor like pen's that. still nice, I guess, but yeah, it's okay. But it's just a lot. It's worse, a lot worse, in my opinion. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but I guess if you need that armor pen really badly uh, against super tanks, it could be worth it. Pretty rough though. All right, Mercutial Scimitar, no crit chance yep but is lifesteal item um uh, i feel like that's fine i don't know i feel yeah. like you just buy this for because you had to buy qss and then you want to like upgrade it because you got the monies Pretty um much. so yeah i think i don't think anyone was like buying this because of the crit strike i think they just upgraded their qss so that's yeah, fine sure. i don't think i think it's fine I think it's fine. Um, I think it's good, but I think it's for sure like a fifth item maybe. Um, yeah. Because, like, I think overall it's better. Um, just having that life steal because you have now you have life steal and you have QSS mm -hmm. on the same item, which is really nice. Yeah. But it think, does cost three hundred extra. I think you're right. This was like a late game item, like when you've bought everything else and you're like, I might as well upgrade my QSS. Exactly. Yep. And at that point you don't need crit strike cause you're already going to be at 100%. probably a hundred percent crit. Yeah. So I think they just, I think it makes sense why they changed it. Yeah. So I don't know. Interesting but, for sure. But I think overall better. Yeah. Um, I think so fun. Yeah. Yeah. And of course, um, reminder, you're getting the 25% yep. crits. Yep. Ooh, and you would do this. Oh, yeah, this is a cool Navori Flicker Blade. Yeah. And it's a different uh, picture, right? Yeah, it is, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, new name and icon, okay. Um, <laughs> it's cheaper by quite a bit. Um, yeah. Now it's only 2,600 gold. Uh, crit Strike is up, of course. Cooldown Refund is up to 15%. Gives you 70% move speed. Gives you 40% attack speed. Um... Interesting. It loses ability haste and attack damage though. So Yeah, all of it. <laughs> it, it is it is it was, I was on board until that last part. Um yep. <laughs> it uh it's gonna be situational now, or it's not gonna be something that I don't think it's gonna be as purchased as before because yeah, no attack damage. So it's it's gonna be very situational, I think, when you need cooldown refunds and yep. more attack speed. 
it still provides one of its iconic cooldown reduction mechanics, but still now live as an attack speed item, typically paired with a big ticket 80 item. <laughs> so, yeah, you definitely can't go this like first, first anymore. Item or anything, yeah. Yeah. But I was going at second item anyway, so I, I think overall it's probably good. But that is a lot of attack damage to lose. Sixty-five. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but it is a lot cheaper, so I don't know. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, it might be. Fine. It gives you a little bit more cooldown refund. So, yeah. And know. the move speed, attack speed, it does give you. Yeah. I don't know. I think it. I think it's fine. But definitely don't buy this first. Please don't ever buy this first. No. Yeah. <laughs> I, actually, I guess in a way this kind of makes it towards the uh, the like. Runans and um, Phantom Dancer yeah. type of level yep. of gold purchase. Yep, yep, yep. So I guess it makes sense, kind of, in a, in a way. It does have zeal, yeah. So it makes sense to zeal item now. Yep. Either way. Uh, it does give crit, though, so, you know, just just like normal. Either way. Uh, Noon Quiver, uh, kind of a similar thing, but they're changing it around a little bit. Um, it's going to be Longsword, Cloak of Agility, plus 450 gold. So a little bit harder to build, but 20% um, crit strike chance. So you're getting that, not the 25 though, um, and then you get uh, removed as the basic attacks deal 20 bonus damage on hit to minions and monsters. So um, you obviously can't, you don't get that, but I don't think anyone's super worried about that, honestly. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> but yeah, 20% crit strike chance is pretty nice. So you're obviously still keeping the AD and attack speed from it as well. So pretty nice little early purchase there as well. Not bad. Phantom Dancer. Yeah, a little bit cheaper by 200 gold. Uh, gives you two percent more move speed, crit change of course up to 25. Uh, cuts out the attack damage completely, but doubles the attack speed you get. So yeah, kind of in line with uh, what was the other thing, the flicker Nivori. blade. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Navori. Um, no, it's it's like if it's an attack speed item, it's just that's what it's doing for you. Um, yep, you'll get both. But, Cool. Uh, but yeah, this also has that passive as well. So you're getting, I think the passive gives you either 50 or 60%, or maybe 65%, I can't remember. So yeah. you're getting about 100, you're getting a lot of attack speed basically from this item. That's yeah. like your, what, yeah. your main thing you're, you're getting. You're going to be attacking. <laughs> and move speed, and you get ghost uh, passive, so a little bit cheaper too. So I think overall yep. just better, plus the 200 gold cheaper, I think it's worth it, probably. But yeah, you don't get yep. that attack damage for sure. Same thing for rapid fire, mostly. Uh, down to 2,600 gold, which is pretty nice. 400 gold cheaper. Uh, you get this crit change, and then attack damage is getting removed. So it had 30, now it's done. And then attack speed is going up by 15%, so now it is 35%. So a little bit better. But yeah, like you said, the, it's either attack damage or attack speed, basically. And then I'm assuming, yep, some more... Some more things with Runans, um, cheaper, like all the other attack speed items. Um, the on-hit magic damage is now gone, so you don't get damage, but you do get um, do get a little bit more damage on the bolts. Um, it's going to be 55% damage scaling instead of 40. So yeah. your other targets will get damaged a bit more, and then crit strike is up. Um, Cool, cool, cool. I think it hurts quite a bit, but that's pretty nice. So I don't know. Yeah. Interesting for yeah. sure. I, mean, I, I think it makes sense because they're like, like I said, they stripped the da like the attack damage out of the other ones. So now they're taking yeah, the, the magic damage. damage out of this one. So yeah. yeah. I don't know. I think it's still be good for sure, but uh, definitely hurts a bit. Either way, still cheaper at least. So that's good. Static Shiv. Uh, total gold chance costs unchanged for this one. Uh, crit chance. Critical strike chance is removed completely, so you don't get credit for this anymore. But attack speed is up by 10%, and then they have a new couple passives here. So, um, killing non-champions fires chain lightning that deals 90 magic damage, hitting up to six additional targets. Three second cooldown, 500 bounce range. So, um, I'm pretty sure they're obviously removing Kirchie's shard and most of the energized items. The only one was, I believe, rapid fire. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's the only energized item left in the marksman system. So um, this is just going to be a three-second cooldown on this, but it is killing non-champions, so like minions. Uh, so you have to kill a minion and then yeah. it procs. And then 500 bounce range, yep. And then um, electric shock. Uh, takedowns on champions instead deals times three damage and has no cooldown, no bounce cap, 
and what? then technically it's 186 uh, and 650 bounce range, is, so it's a larger what does that mean? bounce range. Uh, bounce, what does that mean? It just bounces like a million times? Yeah, I guess I guess if there's someone within this range, it will bounce uh, all of them infinitely. But I, yeah, I don't know. I don't think that means you can't bounce on on one person twice, can it? I don't think so. No, 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 oh, it can't. Okay. So it'll just like it'll hit everybody in the range, I guess. Yeah. So if you had 106 min, 186 minions and champions, then it would bounce all of them. Jeez. Uh, but yeah, kind of interesting for sure. Um, I don't really think this is a better item personally, but it's kind of interesting. We'll see what happens, I guess. It'll, it'll probably look cool when you do that champion takedown one. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess we'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, I'll grab this one real quick. So Storm Rage is getting removed from the game. It's ever since they changed it from having that uh, that bonus damage on the Energized as well. Um, it was just like a hundred flat damage, magic damage. It was so garbage in my opinion. So I'm just they're just removing from the game because it's terrible and no one likes it. So. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's not exactly what they they said, but that's my words. Yeah, more or less. Yeah. Uh, Let's see, Terminus, new recipe. Um, <laughs> what is the new recipe? Heartbound Axe. Axe. Yeah. And no, so Heartbound Axe is replacing BF Sword and only one recurve bow and just more gold, but the yeah. gold cost is the same. Um, less attack damage by five and more attack speed by five. Okay. Nice. They're just Fine. equalizing it a little bit. <laughs> yep. All right, and then Voltaic, Cyclosword, just getting pretty much build path change because no Kirchhoff Shard, um, and then total gold cost is unchanged. Ooh, okay. I know how to say this nice. because Nilio is uh, always talking about this. <laughs> oh. uh, it's the Yuntal, uh, which is the thing that Milio wants to uh, join when he grows up. Oh. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's always talking about it in-game. Um, <laughs> so... Uh, the Yuntal Wild Arrows. Um, it is new item. It costs 3,200 gold. Uh, total cost. Uh, but its recipe is pickaxe, noon quiver, and then 925 gold. Um, so it's going to be 3,200 total when you add all that up. 25% uh, crit strike gives 65 attack damage. Mm. And then passive serrated edge. Critical strikes deal 35% total AD additional physical damage over two seconds um okay. okay so someone who crits a lot and has high ad will like this because it kind of adds a bit of a uh like a <laughs> bit of a bleed effect i guess yeah kind of interesting for sure yeah so yeah it's a nice little ad item here with crit of course and then you just deal extra damage on top of your own. Maybe attack. Draven. Draven might like it. Yeah, probably. You would think Draven, so. Draven, Jin, yeah. Someone who has like hard hitting auto attacks will definitely. Yeah. Maybe like Caitlyn. It. Yeah, Caitlyn on her uh, on her like uh, headshot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caitlyn could like it maybe. Interesting. Yeah. All right, and then Zephyr is back. We're coming Ooh. back with Zephyr. So we got build path is Berserker Greaves, plus two thousand gold. So. Uh, total gold cost is 3100 so it upgrades from Berserker Greaves that becomes available after you reach uh, level 15. So once what? it's you can't build, build it before 15, still counts as a boot slot item. So there you what? go. And then attack that's speed. That's not a boot, that's a sword. <laughs> yeah. Also, not that um, uh, Cassio builds it, uh, boots, or builds attack speed, but um, yeah. I wonder how that works. Anyways, um, <laughs> attack speed. Uh, is 45, and then move speed is 45, and then passive gained 5% move speed for 6 seconds, stacking up to 15%. Um, so I guess I'm not exactly sure what that means, but yeah, they're uh, they're giving a class that already scales well a way to scale even better. Uh, seeing if there's any interest in a kind of full build capstone effect for boots. So yeah, um, I think. Normal boots is 35%, so it's a little extra 10%, I think. And then I think that move speed's the same, but I'm not sure. Yeah. But you do get that passive, yeah. so. Yeah, it's interesting. Interesting way to, like, I guess instead of having to sell your boots, yeah. you can just upgrade them into this. Interesting for sure. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, how does this read to you? Does that make sense to you? 5% movement speed for 6 seconds, stacking up to 15%. It's a passive, though. I'm guessing it like stacks. Yeah, kind of like MF when she's like running. I don't but know. Like, passive 5% for 6 seconds. Wouldn't you just be at this the whole time? Because <laughs> it's not MF where you get hit and it, stuck, it falls off. Yeah. So I'm not sure what no, that no. means, but yeah. It, we, it reads weird, so I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure either. Yeah. Unless they mean it stacks to so like six seconds, you have five. The next six seconds, it goes up to 10. The next, it goes up to 15. But that, but then that's where weird. Does it go from there? <laughs> then it just stops. It can't go past. It just, then it's all it is. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Weird. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Maybe it's not a passive. Maybe it's an active. Maybe that's what I don't know. Yeah, Anyways. yeah maybe. Maybe. Uh, Hardbound Axe. Uh, <laughs> this isn't a new item, but it's a little bit more pricey. 1300 gold now. Yeah. Gives 20 attack damage. So five up. And then attack speed down by five. So similar to, I think they did something similar up above with different items. So yeah, just rebalancing it. Yeah, for sure. Um all right, and then a recurve bow. Uh, the damage type on hit is now physical instead of magical. So uh, overall, champions have a little bit more armor than MR, so it's going to be doing slightly less damage on that on hit damage, but it's still nice. Um, so yeah. Not bad. Scout not bad. Shot. Um, this is a Teemo item. This looks like a thing Teemo would have. <laughs> uh scott slingshot so brand new item it's builds out of a dagger and 600 gold so it'll be 900 total gold cost all said and done uh gives you 20 percent attack speed and dealing a champion dealing damage a champion deals an additional 40 magic damage uh attacks reduces cooldown by one second what cooldown um, <laughs> yep not sure but <laughs> it's reduced <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Zeal getting that plus five critical strike chance, so it's now 20% instead of 15. Uh, in line with that a little bit, and then uh, the grayed out dagger icon. <laughs> I think. Anyways, uh, dagger yep. is getting attack speed was 12%, now it's 10%, so just a little bit down, but um, yeah. Alright, summoner spells are taking a pass at summoner spells, so ghost um, it was 210 seconds, now it's 240 seconds, so up by 30, and then duration was 15 seconds, now it's 10 seconds. I think that's not Definitely good nerfed. for yep. ghost users. <laughs> yep, yep. Um, okay, we've got cleanse, which is similar it's 240 cooldown now yeah and the tenacity you get is up though by 10 percent um i think that's probably fine yeah kind of i guess kind of cooldown's a little rough because yeah it is something that you would like to use more often than not so for sure i think that's a nerf a slight nerf it is uh um, right. exhaust or this it? one though <laughs> This one, this one feels like a slight buff. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Uh, up by 30 seconds once again, so 240, and then slow is up by 10%. So I would assume this means it's like the slow and the uh, the damage reduction. Yeah. But I'm not sure. It might just be the, the actual slow. Because of my, this is my logic. I think you're, you're like holding exhaust to use on like someone all inning you or like in a team fight like on the carries yeah yeah so so like you probably don't mind the cooldown being higher because you're you're holding it a lot of times anyway yeah, that's fair. but the cleanse i feel like you use a lot more frequently yeah, so that's why i think that one's a nerf but the exhaust is probably a buff yeah i think overall could be totally that wrong makes sense, i yeah. don't know but... now that makes sense for sure <laughs> all right uh barrier, barrier you got barrier this yeah i got barrier barrier 2.5 second duration, and the shield is bigger. 120 to 480. Nice. Uh, so that's, that's just a buff. That's an easy one. That's just a buff. <laughs> uh, I like it. 
and then heal uh, range. So the what was it, 826 to champion edge. Now it's 900 to champion center. So this is just this is just a small tweak to make the spell a touch easier to use when aiding teammates. So I guess uh, easier to hit allies with it, I suppose, or something. Um, yeah, or maybe it's slightly larger. I'm not exactly sure, but yeah. 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 Uh, all right, domination. You can start. Goodbye, us predator. Goodbye. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. All right. Uh, hail of blades. <laughs> Attack speed was 110 percent. Now it's 80 percent for range champions and 110 percent for melee champions. So, uh, range users like Ash and stuff, um, maybe not liking this quite as much. Ash support and such. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Goodbye, Ingenious Hunter. <laughs> and then Sudden Impact uh, is going to be another rune. So, dealing damage to an enemy champion within four seconds of using a dash or blink or exiting, exiting from stealth grants 9 lethality and 7 magic penetration for the next five seconds, and it's a four second cooldown. Now, it is damaging basic attacks and ability damage deal 20 to 80 based on level. Bonus true damage to an enemy champion within four seconds of using a dash or blink or exiting from stealth. Stealth. It's a ten second cooldown, but I don't know the math here. But I, in my opinion, this is stronger. I think what so. do you think? I, I think so. Yeah, I think it's stronger. Yeah. Chris nine. Yeah. Goodbye. Rela oh wait. Oh, this, one <laughs> this one stays. Sorry, I got into like a groove there. This one yeah. stays. Um, <laughs> and it is. Uh, nerf, I think yes. five plus eight per stack. Now it's just eight per stack, so just a slight that nerf on the movement speed. Yeah, yep. goodbye, <laughs> lethal tip. <laughs> oh, all right, people were sad about this one, so it's it is super sad, but um, honestly, it'll be okay. They yeah. might introduce something similar in the future, <laughs> yeah, probably. That's how it goes, but yeah. Definitely hurts a lot right. of people. Um, I definitely ran this rune quite a lot. Um, people like Ash and Caitlyn and stuff like that also yep. hurt quite a bit from here. Um, Bolly bears sometimes, or uh, in my opinion, Trundle was really good with this. Um, people like Nocturne, so not just a lot of ADCs, but tons of champions in the game use this item, this rune a lot. So definitely pretty yeah. sad moment of silence, but you know it's fine. Yep. <laughs> uh, press the attack is let's see press the attack help catch the users displaced by loss of lethal tempo uh, major adjustments all right so hitting enemy champion um let's see what they change this hit an enemy champion with three consecutive basic attacks deals 40 to 180 based on level uh bonus adaptive damage which is the same i believe and yeah. amplifies your damage dealt by eight percent until you leave combat um causing them to take 8% increased damage from all sources. Yeah. So I think it is... Only amplifying your damage, not your teammates. Yeah. So I think it's fine. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah. And it is, does seems... read a little bit weird, because it says it applies your damage, not just on the single target. But, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm not. I'm pretty sure this is just against the single target, but yeah, it is until you yeah. leave combat, so that's really nice. And then, yeah, uh, obviously it doesn't amp your teammates. Um, w I was seeing, I think in like the preview of this patch, they had this to eight twelve percent, so you were dealing more damage actually, but from than before. Uh, but it looks like according to this, they they decided not to put well, put right, yeah. So, um, I wonder. It would be really op if it wasn't just the target you were hitting yeah it would be it reads like that but i don't think that's actually how it i works. don't think it's the case but yeah. imagine like you stack it up on the tank and then you just start like blasting everybody yeah but i don't think it's gonna work that way yep definitely all right very interesting but yeah uh, i've been using this druna absolute ton since i've switched over from lethal tempo a few months yeah. ago so um it's basically better overall roughly so yeah yeah, yeah. kind of nice but yeah i don't know not as good in team fights, I suppose, but I don't think that mattered that much. Maybe though. Uh, overheal has been removed. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> but we are getting absorb life. Uh, killing the target restores two to seventeen health. Which, in my opinion, um, is way better. Yeah, I think that's way better. As long as you're hidden minions, um, 
Yeah. I think that's way better. Pretty nice way to heal back up between skirmishes. Yeah. Um, yeah. The only thing I'm sad about is that it's in the same tree as Overheal, I'm pretty sure, because uh, I was always going the Presence of Mind yes. rune, and I'm probably not switching the off of that just for this, but it is super nice, especially for ADCs, I think, that aren't going to take Presence of Mind. Um, yeah, I think I think it's good for ADCs, definitely. Yeah, yeah I, I also, the things that I build this, I also take Presence of Mind, so yeah. I'm going to stick with But it's a that, crutch, but... I should get off of it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, sure. <laughs> Uh, Legend Goodbye, Tenacity. Legend Tenacity. Uh, <laughs> but uh, some some new. Yeah. So Legend Haste gain 1.5 per Legend stack bonus. Uh, a b- basic ability haste up to 15 and maximum stacks. So, uh, some kind of math, maybe around 20 or 25, 25 basic ability haste. Yeah. Which is pretty nice. Um, if you go in like Navori or if you go in um Shojin, this is pretty nice to to stack together um honestly i like this a lot but removing tenacity is pretty big yeah tenacity uh, is nice and as you'll see right below they're also removing this go ahead and you can go for this one all right cut down um is deal five to 15 percent increase attack damage uh except two damage so that's what it used to do Based on how much more maximum health they have than you. Um, okay, okay, okay. So now it's dealing 8 increased damage uh, to champions above 60% max health. So... Oof. Doesn't really so, feel that good. Yeah, no Giant Slayer on um, yeah. on Lord Doms and no Giant Slayer on Cutdown. Yeah, so Giant Slayer has gone from the game. You just can't, yeah, you just don't deal more damage. You don't have a way to deal damage when things have a lot yeah. of health, like more health than you. But yeah, that's it interesting. Is, it is good against non-tanks, but yeah. it is a nerf, like hard hard nerf for sure. Yeah. <laughs> but, I feel like I don't know why I'd ever build this one, though. I mean, it is, it's good, but it's not that good. Because yeah. uh, actually, what's the other one? Um Coup de Grace, it's like I think. Cut down. Does... Yeah, I would think. I feel like I'm just gonna get Coup de Gras. Yeah. Um. It basically does what, like, eight percent more damage when the target's below thirty percent or forty percent or something yeah. like that. Um. Yeah. So this is like the opposite, basically. So when they're above sixty yep. percent. I guess in theory, so it's sixty it's is more than thirty. So <laughs> you'll proc this one more. This is good while they're theory. high health. The other one's good while yeah. they're low health. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Okay. So I don't know. I think it's a roll nerf, and plus with with the Lord Dom's nerf, that's like really yeah. bad for tank killing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So tanks would be pretty crazy, and uh, especially because they get all that health buff on their tank items. Exactly. So. And then Legend of Tenacity is being removed, so the the only tenacity you can get is from I think Merc. Well, there is that one item I think that you can get it from, but um, I think it's like a Bruiser item, but uh, you don't get it from your runes except for that ten percent from the the rune stats at the end. Yeah. And then uh, Merc Treads. That's like the only chassis, so it's very little sure, chassis. Sure. And it doesn't stack well together either. So, yeah. All right. Uh, fleet Footwork. So they're nerfing this a little bit. Uh, the heal was 10 to 130 based on level. Now it's 8 to 110 based on level. So just a straight up nerf. And then movement speed duration was 1 second. Now it's 1.25 seconds. So uh, a little bit longer of a, of a duration on the move speed, obviously, but. Yeah, just a little bit more of a nerf on the healing for sure. Kind of crazy. All right. Into resolve. Uh, they didn't touch too much in resolve, but yeah. in resolve, uh, font of life, um, slowing or immobilizing an enemy champion heals you and a nearby ally um, with the least health, ten to fifty health, seventy percent for range users, twenty second cooldown. Um, so. Let's see. I think this is just easier. This is just easier and probably it's probably a nerf. But it's easier to use, so it might be a buff. Cuz the yeah. old the old font of life is you would mark them after you slow or immobilize them. Mm-hmm. And then the allies had to then follow up with autos. And then if they autoed them, they would they would start healing back. 
Yes. Now, now you just like do a heal when you slow or immobilize. So it's just like more reliable, I guess. In my opinion, huge. So good. Yeah. As this is only for like supports before, basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. More or less, or like tanks. Yeah, but... you because you would you would like use it and then your AD would would proc it basically. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah, yeah. But pretty much no one ran it anyway. But yeah. now slowing or immobilizing an enemy champion heals you. Yeah. So you can heal yourself, which you couldn't do before. Which is true. Insane. Yeah, you said just be. You were just like it was a rune you took just for your lane Allies. partner. Like, yeah. It wouldn't help. It wouldn't help you at all. But now it heals you and a nearby ally. Yeah. Which yeah. is so nice. It does have a, yeah. a long cooldown, which it didn't have before at all. But it's not that long. Um, yeah, I think it's. I think like I said, I think it's heals. better overall. Yes. It's more reliable, and I think it's just better even with the I cooldown. Love this. Yeah, it's great. Yeah, I'm gonna be using this a lot. <laughs> nice. 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 All right, Inspiration Rune Tree. So they're rearranging the Inspiration Tree with the changes, and it's going to be this. So row one is Hex Tech Flash Traption, Magical Footwear, and Cashback, which is a new one we'll see in a second. Uh, row two is going to be Triple Tonic, Time Warp Tonic, time work tonic and Biscuit Delivery. And then row three is going to be Cosmic Insight, Approach Velocity, velocity and Jack of All Trades, which is a new one we'll see in a second. All right. By future market, RIP. <laughs> yeah, it is kind of sad, but that's okay, I guess. Yeah. But in place of it, we get cash back. So six right. get six percent gold back on purchase of a legendary item. So math, but nice, yeah, interesting. Uh, okay. Free gold, basically. So I like that go. little icon. Yeah, it's pretty cute. Yeah. Uh, no minion dematerializer. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm I'm glad this went honestly, and they said little little monitor champions who uh, struggle with the removal because of like people using this yeah. for like wave clear thresholds and stuff. So sure, yeah. sure, sure, yeah. Um, and then jack of all trades, and I don't know why it's written twice, but it's fine. Uh, for mm -hmm. each unique stat on items you have purchased, get a stacking bonus. So get one ability haste per stack, at uh, five sta stacks at five stakes. Uh, get 10 <laughs> adaptive force and then at 10 stacks get 25 adaptive force so um, yeah you get ability haste and adaptive force um, for this so each unique stats like obviously like you know HP um, attack speed AD you know AP whatever so if you get 10 different unique stats obviously you'll get, uh, get some extra stuff what do you think about that it's one? It's pretty cool. It's yeah. pretty cool. I'm trying to think like I like I think it's just like a cool idea, but I'm I'm like struggling to figure out who's gonna build it. But yeah. um I'm sure there are some gonna be specific yeah. champions who who will definitely like it. Yeah, absolutely. So I mean what like Doran's blade I think gives you what three item three unique things? So you yeah. get three ability haste. And yeah. You're yeah, almost true. At, at, at two items you or at one item past the Doran's blade, you'll get true. that tin. Uh, it might be a little bit hard to get the t the or uh, the five, sorry, but that it might be a little hard to get the ten. But I don't know. Anyways, interesting. Yeah, some of this is like math. Like someone's got a someone. Yeah. By someone, I mean a freak. Yeah. Will like that. <laughs> will math it and then uh and then we'll know for sure. But yeah, I think if if the Doran if it works with Doran's played passive, which I don't see why it wouldn't. I. It's it's probably pretty good then. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, I don't know if it works with passives, but I think they changed the. Doran's Blade to be um, like it just gives you the straight up lifesteal now, right? It's like 3.5% lifesteal. Yes. Yeah. So I don't think yes. it's passive anymore. But yeah, if you're like Doran's Shield, you'd only get one because you only have the health. Um, I think that it gives you because the passive is where most of its stuff lies. So yeah, I don't know. But um, interesting. Time yeah, definitely, tonic. definitely interesting. Time Warp Tonic. Um, let's see. Uh, no longer reduces. The healing of potions. Uh, upfront healing. 30%. Now it's 40%. And it removed the bonus movement speed for the duration of potions. Um, okay, well, it's just more healing. So, yeah, it's just cool. More healing. I don't know. Interesting. I don't know. <laughs> I don't use yeah. it. <laughs> I don't really use it either, yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, first strike. So, gold gained. Um is going to be it was five plus eight percent of damage dealt now it's 15 up front and then it's plus four percent damage dealt so half as much gold for the damage dealt um, but you get a little bit extra up front so it's i think it's supposed to be a bit of a nerf but um in terms of the gold but um 
I think it's overall fine. Just depends, I suppose. Uh, and then the damage amp is going up by 1%, so it's now 8% from 7. So, yeah, pretty interesting. I like it, though, I think. I think it's good. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, I think it's, yeah. Yeah, all right, area imbalance changes. We're not going to read that. There's a bunch of arena stuff as well. Um, definitely check that stuff out if you're into it. Uh, if I have time, I'll definitely look at it. But, yeah, lots of stuff changed here. Um, the buff champions, the nerf champions, uh, there's items, all that stuff. Um, there's a few other things as well. Uh, static shift is not is going to be a little different in this, um, and then Zephyrs are not going to be in the game. And Sorry. then there was something else that I I, I missed. Um, there was something that was actually slightly important. What was it? I can't remember. Oh, ranked. Ranked is going to be coming. So I'm wondering oh, if this, yeah. if uh, Arena is going to be like um, staying around for a long time, or if they're just going to do kind of like similarly like the last time, but a little bit longer of a a window. So I'm not sure, but yeah, that's happening. Also, Arena God title, whatever that was, uh, required wins is like down three times as much. So okay, that's good. <laughs> you can get that title if you want. I didn't even know there was sure. one. So there you go. <laughs> uh, but yeah, anyways, lots of different stuff there. Mythic shop rotation is getting changed around, so definitely keep an eye out for that if you're going to be um, doing that stuff. Ooh, maybe I should get this. No, it's fine. <laughs> uh, quality of life changes is your W auto attacks no longer go through dodge. Oh, that's a big buff to him, I think. So Jax, yeah. Ish, and W, I'm assuming that means like Nyla, um, W as well, and stuff like that, so. Wow. That's kind of big, actually, for him. Uh, Ash, Visual Clarity update. She's getting, like, uh, VFX to the ground below her Verholt to better communicate, communicate its hitbox, which is kind of interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um, and then, some obviously, some changes there. And then more Visual Clarity stuff. Bug fixes, if uh, you're into it, definitely take a look at those. Um, and then, got Fairy Court. Got your, your girl Soraka here, looking snazzy. Nice, nice. It's pretty good skin, yeah. Another Lux skin. Uh, sure. <laughs> uh, Tristana got some, like, Shivana clothes on. Kind of looking interesting. Yep. Uh, very Court Lily. Uh, Victorious Cogma, nice. Victorious nice. Cogma, let's go. I'm assuming that's for split one, right? Yeah, I probably. Think. So, yeah, there you go. Cool. Um, I wonder if this will release, like, immediately after when the split drops or if, like, a couple weeks after or something. But either way... Uh, that's going to be it for us today. Thank you guys for watching and listening to us rant for an hour and a half. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. But uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the next one. Uh, let us know how your ranked is going and uh, get on that grind. Also, how, how the items are affecting you. So catch you guys later. Bye.